Hey everyone, it's again with another update here. I'm meteorologist Michael Prianti, and I'm joined with Mike Mahalik. Hey Mike, how's hey, it going? How you doing, Mike? Well, another storm to deal with here. Um, you know, storm, I should say. It's not right. that big of an issue. No. But, you know, still some snow accumulating across a lot of the areas across the Northeast. Right, and we'll take a look here Monday, December 10th, and we'll show you some updates. Things have changed from overnight, and we'll dive in. But first, let's take a look at what's going on uh, right now outside uh, the radar, there's our front, right, Mike? I mean, yep. it's right across the country. Yeah, I mean, it's actually extending um, from basically western Pennsylvania through the Tennessee River Valley and all the way down through Louisiana. A um, lot of precipitation behind that cold front. It's what we call an Anna front. Mm -hmm. So this is a setup where, you know, you could still get some snow. It starts out warm on the front side, but enough precipitation on the back side of the front that we do get some snow with it. Right, and so, you know, that's going to move on to the east uh, throughout the rest of the day. We could see some showers and periods of rain here in the northeast. Mm -hmm. But one thing I want to mention is how warm it is outside. Right. Uh, let's take a look here. Let me undo this. And, uh, yeah, look at that. It's, uh, it's fairly warm out there. Uh, 50s and even some 60s popping up now in South Jersey. That's yeah. uh, for December 10th. I mean, really warm. And a lot of these places will switch over to snow heading into tonight, uh, mostly as we head towards midnight and after. Um, but these warm temperatures could cause a uh, little trouble with the snow to stick initially, um, but that will change as we go through the night. Right, so let's take a look at what models are now showing. I know yesterday we talked about the potential for some accumulating snow across the I-95. Uh, I think that's still valid here, but uh, some things have changed. So here's the NAM just came in this morning. See the push of precip comes into New England with some rain overnight, mm -hmm. showers, and you're starting to see some blue starting to pop up here across the western tier of Mass and into interior New York and Northeast PA, that's where we're seeing the changeover with our Anna front. Yep, absolutely. That's where that uh, cold air is coming in from the Northwest, and that continues through the overnight period and uh, into tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning's rush hour could be a bit dicey for a lot of areas uh, around the I-95 corridor here. So um, could be some school delays, things like that. Going yeah, I on. think delays are going to be probable in some spots, I mean, especially south, central and south Jersey, if this thing ends up being a little bit more intense as the NAM wants to really uh, intense this line up a little bit as it goes further mm -hmm. south into Long Island and South Jersey, which is something we didn't really see yesterday, and that's kind of been a trend here mm -hmm. over the past couple of hours. And because of that, it's uh, printing out most of the snow, uh, you know, across South Jersey, um, you know, a couple of bullseyes of two to four inches in spots. Again, I don't think the model is going to exactly get these bullseyes yeah. correctly, but general one to three inch swath yeah I'm absolutely saying. i'm with you on that the general one to three is a really good call for much of the northeast here but there's going to be some spots to see a little bit more like you mentioned the jersey shore is kind of uh in that uh, spot that could see a little bit more um places in uh, southern new england we're talking about eastern connecticut rhode island uh southeastern massachusetts they may see a little bit more even though this model in particular doesn't show a whole lot going on um, but I do think that they have a little chance to see more of the two to four in it. Right, and uh, actually, let's take a look at the uh, the, the high res uh, Canadian model. Mm -hmm. uh, let me take a look here and undo this. Uh, if we take a look at the high res Canadian model, it's showing a uh, you know a little bit more same same changeover into the morning, mm -hmm. um, and then a little bit more of a spike as Mike mentioned across mm -hmm. southeast uh, Massachusetts, and that continues into the early afternoon. And because of that, it shows well. Uh, higher accumulations, and we're talking here anywhere from like three to five, but still a general one to three in the northwest tier, a little mm -hmm. bit less into New York and northeast PA, yeah. the Aurora coding the one. But again, this is going to waffle back and forth over the next couple of hours here mm -hmm. through the next runs throughout the day. So any of this can go a little bit further north or shift further south, and uh, we'll have to keep an eye on it. But. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll have to really watch that northwestern edge. A lot of stuff's pulling east with it, but I still think there might be enough lift in the uh, in the DGZ or the dendritic growth zone where we make snowflakes, basically, that we're still going to get some decent snow on the northwest side of this uh, system. So don't count it out if you're in that one inch or so category on the northwest flank. Uh, I still think you're going to see some. Of course. And of course, uh, that's all I think we have for today, right, Mike? That's it. Yeah, so uh, I guess we'll end off our, our video here, um, uh, and we'll just take a look. Uh, you know, uh, this is it, and uh, well, hopefully we see some snow across uh, parts of the Northeast. Yeah, I think we will, <laughs> and uh, keep following us on social media for sure, and you have all the web pages there to visit, and as always, weatherworksync.com is the place to go. Until then, we'll see you next time, right? We'll see you, yeah.